Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir Yaqub and in this video you will learn how to use the fancy header package of LaTeX. By using fancy header package you can have another page style which is called fancy and by getting that page style you can have headers and footers which have three components. You can also change the position of the page numbers. In addition to that you will also learn how to add different headers and footers on odd and even number pages. But before we start Make sure that you have watched the part 1 of this series because this is part 2. But first if this is your first time here please make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell. To be notified every time I upload a brand new video on this YouTube channel every Tuesday and Friday. So let's get started. And now we will be modifying these header using this uh, fancy header package. So this fancy header package provides us an additional style which is called fancy style. So I will change this to fancy first and then now we can use certain commands which are available in this uh, package. So what are those commands? So we can have commands like for example the first thing this package provides us a three part header. So there is a left portion of a header, a center portion of a header and the right portion of a header. So if we want to put something on the left portion of the header, we will say backslash L head. So this is the command which we will use to put something on the left part of our header. So we have a similar command for the footer as well, which is L foot. But first let talk, let's talk about the header part. So L header means I just put this is left side of my header so it's a bit long sentence but we see how it looks like so then we we have c head c head is a command which you can use to put something in the middle so for example i want to put my name in the middle of the header so i put my name there and then we have r head backslash r head which we want to put on the right side of uh, my header. So let's say I put uh, right of header, something like this. So now if I compile this and before I do that, because we have been using this book class and the other page style. So if we want to delete all the previous page styles, whatever here was in previously, we want to delete all those. So what we can do is, we can put fancy head backslash fancy head and then we put these empty uh, parentheses curly brackets so what it will do it will clear all the fields if some residual from the class or something is in the field of header and footer header and footer have three fields each so i just put a comment here clear all fields so now if I compile this and this is the page number and this is our header because the, the chapter page will be not will not be affected because this is the definition of the book class that it has a separate page for a chapter. So this is our header. This is left side of my header. Then my name is in the middle and then right of the header. So this is what I put in the header. So this is a common header for even and odd number pages. When later in this lesson we will learn how to change or to have two headers. One for the even number pages and the other for the order of pages. But currently we have same. So now let's put a footer here. So similar type of commands for footer. L foot is the left hand side of the foot. And we can say left of footer let's say then we can put c foot and we can put something in the middle of the footer so let us say i put put, put just the word middle and then we have right of the footer which is r foot and we say right field of footer so now similarly for this fancy head we have a similar command which is fancy foot and fancy foot will clear all the fields for a footer and we can also have instead of these 
two commands we can also have fancy hf which will clear all fancy header and footer so let's do this and recompile this document and now you can see that we have a header and we have a footer so there is no line in the footer and i will show you how to put this line but currently we have a header and we have a footer so left of footer middle and the right of the footer and this footer will continue all, all pages except the chapter name pages how to put a line here so what we do we put a command which is a renew command backslash renew command and then in this command we put if you we want to put the uh, footer line so we put foot rule width foot rule width and then in the next parenthesis we see for example one point so we specify the foot rule width one point and now if we compile this you will see that this is a footer line which is one point uh, wide so there are 72 points in one inch so this is one over 72 of an inch you can increase the width for example just want to show you that you can increase the width four point is too big but you can just have like this so it's four point wide now so i think this point as 0.5 is okay for us so 0.5 point uh, and similarly if you want a thicker uh, line at the header you can just similar command we have for the header so instead of foot rule we put head rule width so instead of one point let's say 2.5 points so now we can change the width of the uh, line at the header now you can see that our header line is uh, very thick which is 2.5 point thick so in this way you can uh, have this header and footer modified and now let's say that we want uh, two separate headers for odd and even number pages so in some books you might have seen this uh, arrangement that the left side pages have a different header and the right side pages have a different header so before you understand that you have to understand few of the things which i have written in this document so i just show you here so that i don't have to write this again and again so this is the thing which you have to understand for for designing a separate header and footer you have to understand these seven characters that e stands for even page o stands for odd page l for the left field left field of the header left field of the footer r for the right field c for the center field h for header and f for footer so these are the uh, characters which have been used by uh, the programmer of this this package so they have used these uh, letters so we have to use these letter in order to instruct the compiler how we want our header and footer so now we have two headers and two footers so one header is on the even pages one header is on the odd pages so we will use these letters in order to make the commands so how we make those commands let's i have given these two examples here so for example this is the command which we will be using fancy head and then inside square brackets we will say ro so what does this ro means r means the right field of the odd pages o is for odd then we will say comma left field of the even pages so we are instructing the compiler that right field of the header of the odd pages is whatever is written in this bracket so whatever we want here we will write here and that text will appear on the right header field of the odd page and the left header field of the even page so just i put one example here so let me comment this all this so we can go edit and move in win edit and then insert comment so if you put insert comment it will put this percent mark in front of these so now we are not using any of these header and footer all are gone 
now we will be using two separate header and footer one for even pages one for odd pages so we will be writing like this let's say first we talk about fancy header fancy header and we want something a right side of the odd page and left side of the even page so this will be in square brackets first of all and the next text will be in curly bracket so this is how we uh, give the compiler the instructions the text which we want on the right side of the header of an odd page and left side of the header of an even page we write here so we write this is a right odd and left even so left field of the even page right field of the odd page and field is of header so this is head so similar statement we have for a footer let's say i copy this and i paste it here and change this to footer statement instead of head i know say foot so no right side of the odd page the footer of the right side of odd and left side of even so this is a right odd and left even footer and similarly here i put header so this text will appear according to this instruction so now if i compile this see what happens any page these two page are together because we can check both now so this is page number 8 and this is right of the odd and left of the even so this is this should be on the left because this is a even page and this is correct in both cases when we go to page 9 so now this is on the right side of this page because this is an odd page odd number page so this is how you change you you get two different header and footer for odd and even number of pages so this is only the left field you can do the same for the center field you can do same for the uh, right field so let's do this for the center field so instead of the right field we say center of the odd and center of the even so header so similarly center of the odd and center of the even so instead of putting these two commands if you want the same word in the center of odd and even then you can use this command center of head so if i want to put my name in the middle of odd and even so i don't have to write these two commands i can write just this command center of the header this and similarly center of the footer for for this one so i write these two commands instead of so lengthy command i can write only this so this is only useful when you are trying to write different commands so for example i write that the center of the odd page you just write odd and then i change this to header let's say i change this to header as well so head and i say center of the even page you just write even so i want to Uh, see how it look like now i am what i am saying that on every odd number page the word odd should be written at the center of the header and at every even number page the word even should be written at the center of the header so let's compile this so this is page 3 this is page 4 so this is a even page so even is written in the middle of the header this is even number page this is page 5 because it's a chapter page so no header footer this is chapter page 6 even is written in the middle so this is page number 8 so even is written page number 9 odd is written in the middle of the header so no you might have seen that we are not uh, putting any footer here we are not putting any footer so it is taking the default so therefore it is putting this page number so this is how you can uh, have many combination of these letters and everything and you can write two separate headers for odd and even pages 
so now see some what modification we can do for example we want this page number to be on the right of the footer here so what we can do we can just say here our foot right of the foot and the command which we have learned just uh, in the beginning of this lesson the, the page so this command this one so I'm using this command here the page so with this the page number should be on the right of the footer so now we have this page number on the right of the footer but there is a still another page number is coming here so we can clear this by using the command this one just uncomment this command fancy foot so we clear all the uh, fields and now you can see that we have clear all the field and we only have the page number on the right of the footer so keep in mind this command uh, backslash fancy foot if you have any error there are double page numbers or something you can clear all these page numbers with this one similarly if, if there is some problem with header so you just keep in mind this command and there is another command which I can put here but I can comment it which is fancy hf this basically combines these two commands fancy head and fancy foot these two commands so it says that clear all clear head and footer fields so this will clear all six fields so you can use either one of this so i just comment this here for the moment so in this way you can uh, have any combination of headers footers one header two header two footers whatever you want in these six fields you have three header fields three footer fields if you are using one header and one footer and you have six header and six footer fields if you are using two headers and two footers for odd number and even number pages so you can control all these fields by using these commands you can use these seven letter you can make many commands whatever you like wherever you want to put certain text just make sure that first brackets are the square brackets and then the curly brackets your text should be in the curly brackets and this is the command you can use only two characters you can use comma and then you can use re for example the right of the even page so you can do whatever you like so there are so many possibilities and so many ways to modify these header and footer using fancy header package now the last thing i want to show you so if you look here and you want to uh, make these two margins equal instead of this so you can use a very simple command by using the geometry package which i have a separate le lecture i have taken already before this uh, lecture you can use use package geometry and with this option and the option we want to use is horizontal margin ratio equals one colon one and square bracket close horizontal margin ratio one colon one if you use this option of geometry package you will get the same margin on both sides And the best illustration will be at the end where we two have two pages one is even number one is odd number and now you can see how perfect is this you have equal margin on both sides perfectly aligned beautiful and you can have a complete control on your headers your footers your thickness what you want in the center what you want on the right side what you want on the left side of a header and a footer so if your pages have the same margin on both sides then you should probably be using only one header and one footer but it's up to you you have a lot of flexibility 
तो आई थिंक दिस इज इनफ फॉर दिस हेड एंड फुटर स्टाइलिंग सो आई होप यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल इफ सो प्लीज क्लिक द सब्सक्राइब बटन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम